This is Ray's North South Magnetic Switch Generator 2. You can watch the number one before this one to answer some of the questions. Go into the design. Back here is a 4x6 inch Neo. I believe it's a half inch thick. The flapper magnet is made up of two quarter inch by one by one, top and bottom. The motor or the input is a small DC motor. It is a geared motor and geared down to a certain speed. The power requirement is 4 volts at 0 0.02 amps. The power input, now this is with the little flapper magnet engaged, so I call that loaded power input 4 volts, 0 0.02 amp, and that is 0 0.08 amp, or 80 milliwatt. Okay, I'll be back in just a little bit. Okay, now we are considering the power input no load or free running. Okay, we still have our 4 volt. And we're just between 0 and 0 0.01. So I called that 0.005. It's probably a little bit more than that. This power supply really is not very accurate at the low uh, amperages, but uh, give us a guesswork. So we're unloaded. And we have four volts, 0 0.005 amps, which is 0 0.02 amp or 20 milliwatt, if I did that right. So we have about a 60 milliwatt difference. And the reason I did that was the 60 milliwatt is what is actually running the setup, the generator. Okay, back in just a little bit. Be a good idea to watch raise north south magnetic switch generator one for a background of how is uh, going to work eventually but this is a stronger model and that's what I wanted to present in this video that this is a scalable unit we can make it much more powerful or we can make it not as powerful okay we're going to take some of the uh, measurements for the turning power or the force it takes to spin it and also the forces that are involved in my flapper magnet. So I'm going to turn it off. Okay. And I have a force gauge here. It's uh, measured in uh, ounces. There you can see. And I hope this will show up. I had difficulty on number one trying to do two things with not enough uh, hands and arms. So let's give this a try. So we're gonna see what the force is to spin the main input magnet, okay? Try and get that come around there. It'll probably be around two if, it, if we don't get 
completely done it'll be about two two ounces okay somewhere around there one interesting thing I must point out if you saw how that reacted when we brought it around and it fired that I'm pushing but as soon as it fires it pushes by itself so those two forces somewhat cancels each other out so when it's actually running it does not exhibit or feel that input power fully so that two ounces or whatever it is uh, after it's running that kind of cancels out and it doesn't fill that full two ounces so that's a good point when it's functioning it even works a little bit easier okay now we're going to measure the flapper magnet this is a larger neo back here it's a four by eight the other one i had was a three fourths by one inch by two inch neo so let's see what we got here okay i'll bring the camera in The flapper magnet has not left its position. We're up to 28, 30, 30 ounces. It has not left its position. Still is not lifting. We're at 30 ounces. It has still not left its ground position. I have a larger force measurement okay. it's measured in pounds so let's go up what was it two pounds okay it has not left its position let's go up to three pounds interesting fact it has not left its position the number one unit was 12 ounces we're up to three pound already let's go up it is not lifting from its position let's go up it's at four that's about what i measured earlier but i want to see it lift off the position so you know that <laughs> oh my god just a little bit over four there there we go. Lift it off its position. So we need to document that. So we are the uh, the input force was around two ounces, just roughly. We had output force there. We had four pound. That's 48 ounces. You can do the math there. So, this is just possible. We have a lot to uh, really consider. Uh, distances, uh, radiuses, uh, so much. I just figure I could spend... Uh, couple months on this yet but I wanted to get this shown so you know what's going on here and so this is raised north south uh, magnetic switch generator 2 possible over unity I thank you for watching very much I'll start it back up we can see it running saying there earlier it just doesn't have quite enough power to go through there but after it's running there's 
a force that's pushing in you have to go through but then it fires and it releases and it pulls so they almost cancel each other so then it runs much easier okay so give you a uh, heads up here how it's all running and working as we go along eventually when I'm more satisfied with what's going on uh, possibly charging its own battery that type of thing then I'll make plans available but at this point it's a possible over unity this is how it's built this is how it's working thank you very much make every day count I appreciate any donations they're always welcome and I do use that money to uh, funnel in to this research. Thank you again.